Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. If you find these videos helpful, consider supporting me through Patreon. We wanted to calculate the average of the top three in this case, but it could have been any number. I'm going to show you the data source. They had different types of boats. A number was assigned to each boat, you know, the first one to come off and the second one, the third one. The different types of operations, the hull, the interior, the electronics, and the amount of time each of those operations took. Now you'll notice that in some places, in many of these cases, uh, there's two or more um, numbers for a particular operation. I don't know if that's for days or for different employees. That's not the point. But they wanted to total up for the different operations and come up with an average, kind of to set a benchmark for everybody else. I did this a hard way, and I'm going to show you the easy way first. The first thing I did, or the easy way, is I calculated, identified what the top three items were. In this case, uh, we're using a rank. If the rank for the sum of hours, and I'm doing ascending, so it's the first one, the lowest number is one, the next is two, three, is three or lower, then we're going to say a top three. Otherwise, it's going to be null. And if you go take a look at the rank, you can have it by descending order. Uh, there's different types of ranks. You know, how are you going to handle ties? You know, if they have the same value, and I'll show you a situation like that. Hit OK. And I'm going to bring this over to color just to verify that it's doing what I think it's going to do. And I look to see, yeah, these are the lowest three. And I'm going to come here under, look, just under electronics. That looks good. And here is the one that I was talking about. You have different types of ranks. And this looks like it's got five that are highlighted. Well, this is hours of 25, hours of 25, hours of 25. And so all of them were highlighted, hours of 23, hours of 23. So all of those are highlighted. You have different options. You could do dense, uh, rank dense, rank unique, rank. I think there's a couple other ones, but we're just going to leave this for now because we're trying to say, okay, what is, what's the best that a, somebody could get? So we have the top three. We're going to go back to the electronics. And now we're going to go to calculating the average. And this is where, this is a, a function that I don't use very often. Often, It's Windows Average, Windows Sum, whatever. And so this is saying in the window that you can see, give me the average of, and then we're going to do this formula here. And this says, if the top three original equal top three, so the ones that are highlighted, then sum up the hours and then take the average of those items. So it's going to take the, um, the sum of these hours, so it's going to take 35, 11, and 21, and it's going to average those out. Now I ran into a little problem because this is a table calculation because it has rank. This had to be an aggregate function as well, so you may run into that issue. We're going to bring this over. I'm not going to do the calculations because I've done them previously before the start of the video. But if you take these 35, 11, 21, if you take the average of all of those, you can see there it says 22.33. We'd like to get this on a line. Usually we would try and do a reference line, but because this is a field, we can't do that. So we're going to create a dual axis, and then we're going to come back up to the sum of hours. We want this to be a bar and then we're going to come to the top average and we're going to make this a line. And then we're going to need to synchronize the axes. And we may switch it around so we have the line up on top. Switches it around and then we'll also on the top three we want to get rid of the, the color. And maybe get rid of that color there and just make this orange. So that is how, oops, I had it the wrong way. Now you got the line on top. That's your reference line. So that's your average. And that'll work if you pick 
any of the other items or all of them. Okay. How did I do it the first time? Well, I created a function called total hours and I used a fixed function. Basically, I thought, well, because there's multiple items, I need to sum all of the values to get one value for each uh, ship number. So that's what I did, and then I just used that in my other calculations. A little more complicated, wasn't needed, because this filter is going to work. There you go. That's how you calculate the top, the average of the top five, whatever. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when new videos are released. Check out some of these other videos I think you'll find helpful.